What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, we're going to talk about the game Legends of Wrestling, which was released on the Xbox, PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Game Boy Advance by Acclaim Entertainment. This game is the sequel to Legend of Wrestling that was pretty much released like um, a year earlier. And pretty much there were like specific additions to Legend of Wrestling 2, like. Uh, more wrestlers, more matches, and even um, the select screen has some some additions to it, you know. Now, one thing about the additions of, of wrestlers in, in Lessons of Wrestling 2, you have the return of some of the wrestlers that was featured in the first game, like Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart, you know, Coco Beware, um, Dynamite Kid, Cowboy Bob Orton wrestlers like that. Then there were other wrestlers that were pretty pretty much added, you know, like Andre the Giant, Rowdy Roddy Piper, the Steiner Brothers, and the Nasty Boys along with some other wrestlers like that and everything. Now pretty much the modes in the in Legends of Wrestling 2 are exhibition, career, create, tournament, shop, theater, and options. Now shop and theater are the oh, only two that were added to the uh, select menu screen and everything. Now, on the exhibition, you can play either standard slash single or um, tag team, and they got it. They pretty much have it separated. You know what I'm saying? With the uh, with the list of matches, you can play under each. Now, with the uh, standard, you can pick um, versus three three way dance, four way dance. A battle royal cage match and a, and a ladder match and under the battle royal match you can pretty much pick 15 20 25 or 30 wrestlers you know and under uh, tag team you can pick tag team three-way tag four-way tag a six-man tag or eight-man tag which is more matches than the first lessons of wrestling game because with uh, the GameCube version of Legends of Wrestling, you only had four matches that you could play, and uh, with the PlayStation 2 and Xbox versions, you only had six, you know, so they, so the uh, matches under exhibition of Legends of Wrestling 2 are a little meatier than, than the first one, you know. Under the career mode, you go, it's, for the most part, it's pretty similar to the career mode and Legends of Wrestling with a couple of additions and everything. Now, of course, you like pick a Pacific wrestler, whether it's Bret Hart, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, or like um, Roddy Roddy Piper. Then um, you pick a specific region. It's like five in total. You got the Pacific region, Northeast region. Southeast region, southwest region, the midwest region. And then, um, this is where um, the addition comes in, where uh, they ask you to pick a um, storyline, but the storyline is, is like done at random once you press a button. And once the, um, that storyline is selected, you pretty much meet um, the um, region regional promoter and everything. They'll tell you different stuff like who the champ regional champion is, what's going on, what they expect of you, and stuff like that. Now there's like somewhere between at like eight and twelve storylines you can choose from. Of course, like which I said, it's done at random at the press of a button and stuff like that it, the, the actual number depending on which region you start off at now it is worth noting that if you pick Jerry the King Lawler uh, that the majority the uh, uh, matches and the storylines in the southwest region will evolve around the real life feud that um, Jerry the King Lawler and um, Andy Kaufman had which was Feature in the movie Man on the Moon, you know what I'm saying. So the only opponent you got in in the Southwest region that's uh, Jerry the King Lawler is basically Andy Kaufman, you know what I'm saying. Anybody who watched uh, Man on the Moon pretty much know what I'm talking about, you know. And now, um, pretty much the career mode of Legends of Wrestling 2 
function pretty much the same as the career mode of like with the wrestling. There's the um the whole crowd excitement meter and everything where you can perform different stuff like using a weapon, um, performing a double team move, and um and do your finisher and stuff like that. But they also added stuff like a ref bump, uh, and damage bonus and stuff like that. Now they will if you get like too repetitive, they they'll reduce the the amount of crown assignment that's in the uh, meter and stuff like that. Then of course when you after you win your match, um pretty much they will add um a crown assignment to your overall popularity. And once um your popularity reach one hundred percent after some of your matches, you get to face the regional champion. Once you beat the regional champion, you pretty much defend the championship, then go on to the next region and tell you complete all five regions once and you pretty much uh, unite all of the championships into one single United States championship, defend it, uh, defend it then go on to uh, try to become the world champion and stuff like that. And pretty much, um, uh, the, another thing that you, uh, this is related to, um, the, um, career mode, you pretty much earn, uh, red coins, blue coins, and green coins from the career mode, which you can use to purchase different stuff from the shop, and the categories in the shop are, uh, wrestlers, textures, arenas, abilities, cheats, and concept art. Which you know, you can all um, buy. You know what I'm saying. You will like. You, you will need a certain number of red coins, blue coins, and green coins to enter each category and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying. And I would think that um, the last thing that you will go to to buy will be the concept art. You know what I'm saying? The first one, I guess, will be the wrestlers to try to unlock them and play as them and stuff like that. And then there's the um, uh, create a legends mode where the categories for the wrestlers are like the info, head, body, clothing, art, entrance, gear, moves, um, entrance selection, and um, stable and stuff like that. You can um, put them in, in, in like uh, different uh, outfits, wrestling uh, gear and stuff like that. You can have them um, um, pretty much select the hometown, you know what I'm saying? And as far as the, um, the moveset is concerned, you can, you can mix it up any way you want to or you can um, select a moveset from a specific wrestler, whether it's, um, say like, Rick Steiner or um, Cowboy Bob Orton stuff like that, you know. You now you, now I like the fact that you um, form your own stable and stuff like that. You can select anybody you want to. This wish they had um, members of a four uh, horsemen though. You know what I'm saying, like Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, so you can form the and form your like favorite stable and stuff like. Stuff like that, you know. Now, um, pretty much with tournament, you can select a singles tournament, tag team tournament, or or the tournament for the t world tag team champions. You know what I'm saying? Now, the setup for um for the tournament is it's pretty different from the standpoint. Instead of a rounds robin tournament. You, they pretty much got you in a um, single elimination tournament for each uh, for each of the tournaments. You know what I'm saying? And um, pretty much um, you can select um, which uh, wrestlers you want and they just have them compete. And you pick one of them and see who the best and everything. Now the um, pretty much in the theater you can pretty much view the interviews with some of the wrestlers, career ending. And uh, concept art. Uh, with the um, interviews, you can uh, watch uh, um, each wrestler talk about their uh, careers up to that point back in 2002. 
whether it's like um, Hulk Hogan, Jerry the King, Lawler, Brad Hart, Eddie Guerrero, whatever the case. So it's not like um, all the wrestlers um, being interviewed because some of them were, were dead when this game started production, like Brian Harris and Andre the Giant were, were dead back back some years prior to this game, of course, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, pretty much with the um, career ending, you pretty much have to um, beat the game as the specific wrestlers in the, on the roster to, to view them, you know what I'm saying, whether it's Jerry the King, Lawler, Eddie Guerrero, or Hulk Hogan and stuff like that. And um, with the concept bar, it consists of mostly um, sketches and in-game photos and stuff like that with the options you can do this like adjust the sounds adjust the difficulty view the credit stuff like that um back basic stuff under the options you know now with the graphics and design they're okay but i didn't see any like major improvements in the graphics you know what i'm saying that this this i kept it the same there wasn't a lot of um like like a lot of improvement with the color palettes and stuff like that. Now the controls and gameplay are okay, but um, it seems like there's been no additions in terms of the um grapples and, and um strikes and stuff like that. And um, they didn't like address the problems with the um uh, like the refreshing this like when you face the uh, opponent AI in the match. It seemed like the that AI will will reverse like every other move that you try to pull off, whether it's a strike or a grapple. And that that gets annoying and all after a while. You know what I'm saying? Then it seemed like a claim didn't address that at all. Now, um, the soundtrack is pretty decent, but the instrument the entrance music for the wrestlers this comes off as generic. And not only that, I was like left wondering why the um, entrance music for Terry Funk and Dory Funk Jr. were um, uh, was a slow country song, which like scratched my head. Like that particular song that they used for Terry Funk and uh, Dory Funk Jr. doesn't fit their gimmick at all, especially if you remember, especially if you have like fine memories. Oh, uh, you know, Terry Funk and Dory Funk, you know. But I do like uh, some of the things that they that they added. You know what I'm saying? Like the matches, like more matches, and the interviews by some of the wrestlers. You know what I'm saying? No, but even though um, the storyline and the original promoter were a nice addition, but they should have given you. The choice of which uh, storyline did you did you wanted to go down instead of having it done randomly, you know you know. Uh, to me, Acclaim had an opportunity to make Legend of Wrestling two better to be better than the first Legend of Wrestling game, but Legend of Wrestling two just came just ended up being just as mediocre as the first one. You know what I'm saying? As far as the score. I give it a 5 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? And you can sound off in the comment section about um, uh, Legends of Wrestling 2, you know what I'm saying? The things that you liked, the things that you didn't like, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can even talk about um, the GameCube, not the GameCube version, but the um, Game Boy Advance version of uh, Legends of Wrestling 2, if you want. You, you can even talk about the first one if you want to also, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and, and hit that bell notification button. This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, signing off.